you want to take advantage of all the great things you've heard you can accomplish with AF, but want to make sure you get started on the right path. Our building block to accomplish this is the element, and how you set them up in a hierarchy depends on what you want to get out of AF. An element can be a physical piece of equipment, a part of a piece of equipment, a site, or even a business unit. But you choose building blocks based on items you want to compare, and they often are logical physical representations of an asset. Elements contain attributes. They are the properties associated with an element. They can hold static data, or be references to pie points, formulas, or results of calculations. It's basically anything that's important about the element. How you arrange elements into a logical hierarchy depends on the comparisons that you want to make, which is what we're going to focus on in this video. Let's take a look at two examples. We'll start by building just a few elements for a wind farm to show you how to get started. Then we'll discuss a more complex completed hierarchy for a power plant. So let's start with the wind farm example. My wind farm company has two sites, each with multiple turbines. First, both sites should be in the same AF database, since we want to be able to compare across sites. It's difficult to compare elements that are in different databases. If we build a flat hierarchy, it will be difficult to compare overall performance of each site. Instead, create sites as elements with turbines under each of those sites. At the site level, we can complete a roll-up analysis to aggregate information about each site. And then we'll be able to compare site 1 to site 2. We won't cover how to do this here, but a lot of the heavy lifting is done with templates. You only need to create your site or turbine element once, and then use the power of templates to build out your AF structure. This standardizes what it means to be a site, or what it means to be a turbine, or anything for that matter, and if you decide to change the template later, it propagates to all the assets made from that template. Check out the Advanced Topics AF playlist to learn more about templates. You can also head over to the advanced playlist to learn about reference types, which define the relationships between elements at different levels of your hierarchy. Let's start by building a site element and a turbine element in PySystem Explorer. Here we have an empty AF database. Right click on elements and create a new element. We haven't created any element templates yet, so we'll select none here. and I'll call this Site1 on the General tab. And go ahead and check it in. Right click on Site1 and create a new child element under Site1 using the parent-child relationship. Again, selecting Element Template None. Click OK and we'll rename this Turbine 1. And go ahead and check it in. The Attributes tab is where we define specific information about our elements, depending on which element we have selected. In this case, we would like to add some attributes for our turbine, and the turbine element is the one I currently have selected. Click on the Attributes tab and select New Attribute. I'd like to add information about the manufacturer, so I'm going to change the name to Manufacturer and type in its value here, since it's a static attribute. I'd also like to include some sort of link between Turbine 1 and a Pi tag that holds information about its bearing temperature. To do that, I'll right click and say New Attribute and rename this attribute Bearing Temperature. There are a lot of different ways to link information that isn't static to attributes, and we'll discuss that in the following video on data reference types. However, as a simple example, I would like to link this to a pi tag, and this is known as a pi point data reference. Data references are defined here, and you can see a list of all of the different reference types that are available. Just as an example, we're going to do pi point data reference. I'll select pi point, and here you see a message that attributes with data references are not typically marked as configuration items. So I'm going to uncheck that here. Under Data Reference, I'll again go to Pi Point Data Reference, click Settings, and then search for my tag. And you can see it here. 
And now you can see that the attribute bearing temperature is linked to a pi tag, which has a current value of 24.5 and this timestamp. We want to get to what we currently have on the left, which is one site and one turbine, to a structure with sites and multiple turbines, but we don't want to build each one manually. The steps we would complete are to finish building the site and turbine elements that we have on the left. This would be adding the rest of the attributes for your turbine. These would be multiple data reference types, which will be discussed in the following video, or including calculations with expression analysis with asset analytics, which you can check out in another playlist. You may also want at the site level to uh, include a rollup analysis, which would be in a rollup analysis with asset analytics. And if you forget anything, you can always add it to the template later. We would then convert site one and turbine one to templates. And then we would finish building out the rest of our AF hierarchy using those templates. And that's completed using templates in AF, which is in the advanced playlist. Let's take a look at a second, more complex example of a power plant. And you can see here that the power plant is made up of two units. Inside of each unit, there are multiple components. In this case, a boiler, a condenser, etc. And each boiler is composed of an air heater, a reheater, and a superheater. And if you click on boiler, for instance, there are many attributes associated with the boiler, as well as the air heater, the reheater, and superheater. Let's discuss why you might want to create your hierarchy this way. With this hierarchy, we can sum up the energy usage of the air heater, reheater, and superheater at the boiler level, and this is accomplished using the analysis service. This is possible because we built a hierarchy to support this. We would then be able to compare the boiler efficiency for unit one to the boiler efficiency of unit two. And this is possible because we used element templates. This should provide you with more ideas about how you would want to create your hierarchy to be able to do the comparisons that you want. The assets that we wanted to compare defined our hierarchy, while templates will provide us with the standardization required to make those comparisons. To learn more about how to get started with templates, see the advanced AF playlist.